I was just wondering if you had any opinion on um, bedtime is a bit of a challenge for us. So they're both in the same other back next to each other and um it's often that like one of them often our youngest one um it, it, he just wants to keep you know he sees it as an opportunity to, to play and like yell and jump around and you know um avoid going to sleep even if he's tired mm. <laughs> um and he's so little that it's like you know he's two and a half so i i try to stay calm and ask you know continue to ask him to lie down and stop yelling stop talking and uh, but sometimes I literally have to like hold him in bed because not until that point like he just he won't stop sometimes until I've like held him in bed for a bit and then he gets angry <laughs> he's like don't touch me don't hold me yeah um and it and I don't like I'd really rather not have to do that but I don't know he's so young I don't know if there's any other like I mean two years old it's like it's such a it's so tempting you got these other people here. You got your big brother here who you adore and you admire. It's super, super tempting. I mean, I'm just wondering, it's like, you know, obviously if this is happening so much and to the point where you have to restrain him and stuff like that, I'm wondering if there's any way you can avoid this, you know, where if you're starting to see if you could, you know, maybe put down like a, a sleeping bag in your room. And when you notice he's, getting bouncy you could say oh boy buddy tonight I think we need to let you go lie down here in this other space you know is there a way that you could kind of you know maybe like because I know that having siblings share a room is a very intentional choice right I get it my, my girls yeah. shared a room when they're younger but is there a way there could be like an alternative once in a while for him to go to sleep in Maybe I could try that, but the thing is that we had him by himself before in our oldest in our room. Hmm. Um, and he and our youngest was being so rambunctious at bedtime, and our oldest has always been like a dream at bedtime. So we thought, oh, Cope will have a good influence on Forrest. But then the opposite happened. Our oldest was like, wait a second, bedtime can be playtime because he had, had never like made that connection. So I was <laughs> like, okay, I read my book and go to bed. Um, so then you know, he's like, oh, I can play at bedtime. So then sometimes they'll like feed off each other or sometimes they're oldest a little bit, but more often they play a little bit and then our oldest is like tired and will sleep and then our youngest is like, I want to keep playing. I want to keep making this a big, uh, a big deal. So I mean, I could try. So like we had him alone and it didn't, yeah, it was just as difficult. <laughs> So I don't know, maybe it's just like, it's just going to take some time. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, some kids bedtime is really hard for them and yeah, it, it could be, you know, people do there, you know, you should definitely post in the, in the group about this and, and ask some questions about how people do this because there's so many good questions, but it can be a conversation that you can, you can do a win-win converse problem solving conversation with them all about this. Um, you know, what do you need? <laughs> what helps you calm mm -hmm. down, buddy? Like what helps you feel sleepy? Uh, and start to ask him, you know, involve them in the conversation. You know, what, what help? what, you know, what helps you feel sleepy older brother? Um, sometimes when to feel sleepy, I need to read before I go to bed. Sometimes to feel sleepy, um, my, my daughter's, you know, I, my second daughter didn't go to sleep as easily as my first daughter. And she needed, she listened to like guided meditations on her, her um, on a CD player. They have tons of them for kids. That's like mm -hmm. brilliant. They're just, you know, uh, there's all so many resources for this insight timer has a bunch of stuff, which is totally free. Um, and some, they have guided kids story, sleep stories and things like that. All, all kinds of stuff out there. So there's a ton of resources and, you know, it could be that going to sleep in a separate room is an, 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 a natural consequence for keeping his, his brother up. I mean, that would mm -hmm. seem to make sense. And if that's a disincentive, well, then that might be helpful for you. Another thing, sometimes parents, you know, when you have a kid who doesn't want to be alone, and wants to have some support around bedtime, that can be a great time to do your meditation practice. You mm. could say, hey, buddy, okay, I'm going to be with you. I'm going to sit here. I'm going to do my meditation right at the end of my yeah. bed. I'm going to breathe in 
and breathe out. You could even do a guided meditation. <clears throat> They're usually quite relaxing, right? They're not going to like keep mm-hmm. your sun up. Um, yeah. Yeah. Those, those can all be good ways to do it, but I would involve everyone in the family in the conversation. Okay. You know, this just isn't working <laughs> yeah. the way it is right now. I'm seeing yeah. you're getting so excited. I'm seeing your brothers being kept up. We need a different situation, you guys. How can we sort this out so everyone gets their needs met? Mm-hmm. That's a good idea. Because he's very, um, he likes to have me close, but he, when he wants to go to sleep, he doesn't want anyone touching him. He just wants them there. Um, so that could be a good, <laughs> good try. Good thing to try with the, the meditation. Yeah. And what could be more calming than someone meditating near you? I yeah. mean, gosh. That would be great. Catch new episodes of the Mindful Mama podcast and other free resources, including the Mindful Mom Guide at mindfulmamamentor.com. You can listen to every back catalog episode, including interviews with Dr. Dan Siegel, Janla Van Zant, Sharon Salzberg, and get meditations, join our private Facebook group, and more. Go to mindfulmamamentor.com now. I'll see you there.